the teachings are not to be explained. The real meaning of teachings are to be experienced. Now, what constitutes a teaching? A teaching is not only a verbalization of thought, but a true teaching is to give uh, the pupil the experience. What makes this leaf grow? Is it the sun? Is it the air? Is it the water? Is it the fertilizer? There is something else that makes it grow. And this very growing has no language. It cannot be verbalized. To make people understand what you're talking about, you have to verbalize the things that are not or that cannot be verbalized. Man in this world suffers of misery. One thought pulls in this direction, another thought pulls in the other direction, one north, one south. So what man requires in today's world is integration, where he can function in totality with his mind, body and spirit. And this is so easily achieved, this very leaf achieves it. And why can't you as a thinking being achieve it is because you think. For there is only one mind which is the container of all the knowledge since creation began. And by having the totality of your personality integrated, you bring that great awareness, this beautiful awareness of universality, which is God. If you teach to people through all your various churches and synagogues and temples that God is omnipresent, then He is present everywhere in every cell of your body. Hmm? So, why do you not know this? Why do you not recognize this? Why don't you realize this universality that you are? The answer is so simple. You live a fragmented life and you want integration. What are you seeking for? What are you seeking for, my friends? You are seeking for happiness, you are seeking for joy, you are seeking for peace, you are seeking for tranquility. Where the mind is so stilled, and in that stillness you know, be still, and know that I am God. That is man's quest to find the reality within himself. For all this you see around you, could you prove to me it is real? Hmm? It is real to the senses within you. You touch, you taste, you smell. Hmm? So your exploration of life is totally limited to your senses and the small conscious mind interprets the value of your senses only and that is why you suffer because the senses are always at variance with each other. If divinity is omnipresent, why do you allow? Why do you allow this fragmentation for God's sake? Damn it! Why? Hmm? Go through this misery which churches talk of as eternal damnation. There is eternal joy 
there is no eternal damnation. But realize this. Hmm? It is like food which you eat. It has to be digested, but that's not enough. It has to be assimilated in each and every pore, in each and every cell of your body. And it is nothing new that you are doing. Hmm? It is nothing new that you are doing. Every word I speak to you about comes from personal experience through traveling through the Himalayas for years and years and years, running away from home at the age of four, seeking for God. And the search was there all the time. And then searching all over like a musk deer. It ran and ran and ran, ran all over, all over, and could not find the source of the scent. And yet when it was exhausted, it found that the musk con was contained in its own navel. That is where the fragrance come from, hmm? the musk perfume from hmm? the navel of the musk deer. That fragrance is within you, which we call the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all else is added unto you. But what are we doing? In reality, we are seeking all that is to be added on and not seeking the source. For the fragrance of that flower never fades. It is eternal. The eternal flower forever blooming, blooming, blooming. And as it blooms more and more and more, the fragrance in your life becomes more and more. That is what you need. That is what you need.